Hello and welcome to Handy's Day, week 13. This is my Talk to the Hand series. And I'm Handy. Yeah, as if you didn't know. Ha ha ha! Right, we've got a good old week this week. And we've got our Handy winner. So let's go there. Blimey, look at that. Yeah, Handy Towel. It came from Harry. In Hastings, yeah, he was visiting his granny by the sea. And he went into her kitchen because she said, like grannies do, would you like a cup of tea? And there it was, by Jove, on the top. Yeah, well done. So you are my winner, Harry. Well, I hope you've all had a wonderful week this week and uh, doing lots of groovy old things. Uh, one of the things I was doing was the old Goodwood, because uh, I know by popular request you enjoy it. Well, you tell me you do anyway, but <laughs> I don't know whether I do. But uh, anyway, so I think we better go and do it now. It's time for Good Wood. Hello, hello. Oh, how are you then this morning then, Good? Well, I'm very well. The sun is shining, and yes, I feel very happy. Oh, blimey. All right, well, uh, let's go. Well, we, well, we're doing really well on this. Let's get going then. Right, you ready? Yes, I am. Handy has bought a five litre tub of ice cream. Good. Wood. Okay, right, okay, we won't, we won't uh, stretch this one out and... Uh, we won't stretch it out. It's getting ridiculous. Come on, I'm waiting. Right, okay, <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, Handy's bought a five litre tub of ice cream and uh, I was going to tell you about it. And, uh, yeah, good wood. Hmm. Good wood. Find the key and lock the freezer. And that's exactly what I've done. What? You're joking. What, what do you mean, find the key? Well, <laughs> haven't you noticed there's a lock on the freezer? Hold on. Oh, blimey. Oh, OK, well, let's, uh, let's look at some answers and we'll talk about where we're going to work. Uh, yeah, can I have that key back? No. Oh, can I have a key? No. Read the answers. Right, OK. <sighs> Sophia Dady, yeah. Good word. Go bananas. <laughs> well, I can make your banana split if it just get on with it. Uh right, I changed my username again, okay. What a blinking long name. File it. File it. Well, it's put away. It's locked away, so yes, I suppose it is. Carry on. Cool. <laughs> Uh, it's nice and sunny as well. Good looking on a nice house. Just get on with it. Uh, bongo. Go and buy some ice cream cones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, go on. The stone. Makes all handy. Didn't eat it all in one go. But let him have some every day. Yeah, for a few weeks. Yeah, that, that's more like it. Yeah, it's more like. Do you realise how large that is? Look at me a minute. You? Yeah. Right. It is a five litre tub of ice cream. You? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much trouble I have had trying to fit it in the freezer? Well, I sort of thought, well, yes. Go on. Well, it was on discount, you see, and I thought, well, you know, I can't resist a bargain, so, uh, yeah. I didn't think about the freezer. Right. Well, unfortunately, I've had to take all the other things out to fit it in. So, that's your chips. Burgers. What? Oh, hold on a minute. The next time, Handy, you need to think about the space it's going to take in the freezer. Oh, all right, then. OK, have it your way. We'll, uh, we'll take it up later. Right. Goodbye. Blimey, it was a really good bargain as well on that ice cream. 
So, it's that part of the uh, show to do good news. Da da da! Come on then, report good, it's time for the good news. Da 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 da! <laughs> Hello! Right, okay, good. What's been happening around the older world then? Well, it starts with a chap called Stephen McKears. He's a 70 year old pensioner, and um, he discovered that. Well, things have been moving in his shed. Moving in his shed? What do you mean? Well, he goes to bed each night, and when he wakes up in the morning, well, things have been tidied away. Oh, well, OK, what sort of things then, good? Well, he's got um, a rather actually an ice cream tub, a rather large ice cream tub, which we're going to have. Yeah, and... He goes to bed, and in the morning, all the things have been put inside. So, um, plastic clips, uh, nuts and bolts, and well, all sorts of metal objects, really, screws. It, well, the list is endless. Oh, so what was in his tub, then? Well, he used to have the ice cream tub, but it was filled with peanuts for his birds. And, uh, yes, and it's been filled up every night. So, he thought he was going mad. So, he spoke to his neighbour, and he said, well... What can we do? And his neighbour said, well, let's set up a camera and see what's happening. And if anything happens, we know that you're not going mad. Oh, all right then. So, uh, so what happened? Well, you're not going to believe this. Go on, try me. Well, there was a little mouse. A little mouse? Yes. Lifting all these things? Yes, that's the, that's the most amazing part. He was lifting things that were really, really big and heavy. So, um, let's look at the notebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Cause, yeah, oh, right, it's, it's all in black and white, isn't it? Yes, that's because the camera only shows black and white. And you could see that between about midnight and 2.30 in the morning, well, he came and did his job. He tied it up. So it was all nice and tidy by the time that uh, Stephen's gone back into his shed in the morning. Wow, good. That, that, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? So, so he's here every night? Every night. He's been doing it for about a month. So, um, yes. So you guys at home, let me know what area in England this happened. Yeah, all right, yeah. So whereabouts is this taking place in? Yeah, we'll have a look at this little mouse again. Hold on. Yeah. He's very sweet, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if he knew we were filming him. No, not at all. The camera was just, well, it just goes on and on and films and, uh, yes. So, um, Stephen's very excited and he's called him Metal Mickey because he picks up all the metal things. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so, uh, good, good bit of news here. Good and, uh, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, good has left it for me to talk about the old uh, Sir Winston Churchill's top hat and cigar. We had a little old quiz going on last week. We wanted to know how much they were valued at. Well, the stone, good old mate, has come up with a good old number. Yeah, £10,000. So we got to that part in the show. The best bit before we go. Require the squire. Rob the Squire is our trusty librarian, and whatever he says goes. <laughs> well, he's come up with a little gem again this week. He's, uh, well, he's let me have a look at a little book. It's called Pumpkin Grumpkin. And I'll get it in a second, but I thought I'd just say a little poem out of it that made me smile. It was very appropriate because the last few weeks we've been reading Jessica's Ghost. And, uh, yeah, so the poem is by a chap called uh, Trevor Harvey. And it's literally this. Advice to a young ghost. Please remember, whatever you do, don't spook until you're spooking to. Ha ha ha! Right, I'm going to get good go and bring the book on and we'll have a quick look. Good! Right, there we go. This is the book. And it's about nonsense poems, yeah, from around the world. And uh, as you can see, John Argord and Grace Nichols. Thank you very much indeed. Dismissed. <laughs> right, 
Right, so, uh, yeah, I've been very excited because the old Jessica Ghost, well, it was such a good book that uh, Good said to me, you know what, I think we'd better check out this old Andrew Norris. And, uh, yeah, so, in the post today, you ready, Good? Mm. Yeah, in the post today, you can see, it's uh, Mike. So, uh, Good is going to have a read and, uh, yeah, she'll tell you all about it next week. Dismissed. So, I hope you had a good old time, and, uh, yeah, it's been a lovely old morning. And, yeah, I've got to get on with some old uh, chores with the, uh, yeah, as you can see up there with my old handy towel. I've got to go and clean up a little bit, because the uh, goods uh, got me on a bit of a rotor. I'll uh, tell you about that next week. Anyway, have a great time. Groove on. Groove out. Groove over. Dee -de dee <laughs>